is Chelsea Langerud. I am 21 years old and I go to Arizona State University. What are you studying over there? I'm studying justice studies, fashion, and disability studies. I've been visually impaired ever since I was born. Uh, so be able to live on my own, have my own apartment, uh, be able to go to a university. I got accepted into my master's, which is a really big accomplishment for me. And also being able to advocate uh, how I do with speaking and a podcast um, and a blog. All of those are really big accomplishments for me and make me feel proud to be able to share my experiences that have really allowed me to be where, the, where I am today. A lot of societal aspects of today's world that makes it hard to kind of go after what you're trying to accomplish. And for me, I experienced a lot of challenges, just bullying, um, as well as self-image and self-love. Being Having a disability, it's hard to accept yourself in a world that is so uh, focused on this ideal persona and this ideal look. So it makes it even harder having a physical difference. And so, for me, trying to, um, I have, I've always set high goals for myself and I've always kind of been an overachiever. So I want to be able to perform the best I can and do all that I am able to, to be able to accomplish what I have set out for, my, for myself to do. And so trying to navigate a really complex and difficult world is makes it even more challenging to have societal norms against you. So that would be one of the biggest challenges. Um, and again, just that self identity, self love, um, it's hard and difficult to be able to fully chase after something when you're also simultaneously trying to find yourself. And that's a never ending obstacle that everybody faces faces no matter if you are disabled or not I would say within that some of my strengths I with my own experiences as well as my medical challenges I've learned to adapt really well to change and to uh, different circumstances that come my way um, life and college and young adulting can be really challenging and hard to pursue. Um, and so I feel that what I have endured has really allowed me to uh, adapt well to different environments and different paces and uh, different uh, situations that come my way. Um, I also feel and again, part in part of uh, my medical experiences, being able to communicate. I feel that uh, communication is key for a lot of things in this world. And I've always had to communicate uh, what I was feeling to doctors. And so I think that that has transferred over into school and my hobbies. Uh, again, just, I love um, blogging, writing, podcasting, speaking, and all of that has really, the communication skills that I've built up from my life journey and experiences has really transferred over into how I'm able to communicate with the world and the message that I want to give across. So if I could identify one thing to tell someone who's going through similar challenges, it would be to feel what you're feeling and go through the current state that you're in. And I think a lot of times we try and rush our journeys and the process that it takes to heal certain parts of ourselves or move on from difficult situations and seasons in our life. But if we sit back and really uh, sit in that season and ask ourselves, what is it that we're learning from it? Uh, how are we adjusting? I think that that allows us to move on um, in the long run because if we try and 
uh, brush past uh, the difficulties that we experience, the self-conflict, um, identity, whatever it may be, then we're just kind of brushing off those experiences and uh, the uh, turmoil that we're feeling. But if we're really able to sit and think through it, um, then we're able to uh, authentically move on um, and not have it linger on throughout uh, the next upcoming seasons of our life.